Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, November 2nd, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We just launched a brand new signal service on Patreon. And if you join that, you will receive also all the extra material, for example, my personal trades uh, with that signal service. So you can click the link below. Um, yes, so let's start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you see, we tried to rally a little bit on the Friday session, found support at that point, 20 exponential moving average, broke down again, and now we're just trading underneath the 50 moving average. At this point, I think that we are going to go a little bit lower in this market. We are trading uh, in the short term at the highest of uh, 13.17, and at uh, the bottom here is around 12.67. So we're right in the middle, and we have some um, space to the downside. We'll probably go looking for this area here at 12.78, and the reason why I say that is because of these technical indicators are all pointing to those lower levels. You can see the MACD has turned around. The RSI has a lot of room to the downside and it's heading around. The same goes to CCI, same goes to stochastic. So most likely, my bet is that we are going to go towards that 300 moving average at 12.78 and we'll find uh, some support there. A break below that area opens the door to the very lows here. If we rally, then of course, we have to break the top of these candlesticks before going to 13.17. Yes, so we have the Euro, uh, US uh, dollar and the yen. So we have rallied as we did expect. However, I don't expect us to go further than the 50 moving average. And at the moment, the 50 moving average is at 105. So you look at technical indicators, they are all looking fairly bullish. They are uh, they're quite promising to be very honest the macd is turning around rsi is turning around it is gone it's at 37 at this point so we have a lot of room to the upside uh, we have the cci pointing upwards the same goes for the stochastic it is pointing um, to higher levels and so does the macd at this point so i have no interest in basically buying this because i am interested in basically selling this we are in a in a channel, downward trading channel. And what we're doing at the moment is that we are rallying up towards the 50 moving average and this uh, trend line here before going back down. That is most likely what is going to happen if something other than extremely strange happens. So I'm waiting to get as high as possible, see a weak candle, and then basically sell this. So if you look at the US dollar, uh, Euro US dollar, then this really fell apart last week. It had a really bad week, mainly due to the fact that the, the um, Europe is basically shutting down again due to the coronavirus and because of the appreciation of the US dollar. Uh, so that hit this market pretty hard. At the moment, we have broken through the 100 moving average. We are focusing on this... Um, Purple line here is at 150 moving average at 11.53.29. Uh, um, and at this point, no interest in basically buying this. We are in basically a downward um, trend here. We'll probably find some uh, support around this area. You can see this was previous support. So it'll be interesting what happens when we get to that um, area, whether or not we turn around break two, but then we will have to test 150, 150 moving average. A break below that opens the door way down here to the 200 moving average. So um, yes, we are still, we're not oversold yet. We're only, we only are 40. So there's a lot of room to the downside. Technical indi indicators are looking very bearish at this point. Both the MACD, CCI, Stochastic, and the Bollinger Band. It's not showing signs of everything turning around. We are not that overstretched. So we may see this market go all the way to this lower uh, price level here. So Aussie dollar, US dollar. Uh, we have found support here at the 50, 150 moving average. And at this point, well, we'll see. 
we have tried to break through the 150 moving average. If that happens, if we are successful, then that opens the door to the uh, 200 moving average. And that is all the way down here. So you can see this is all the way down there at 0, uh, 0.6834. Um, if we rally, then we'll find the resistance at the uh, 20, 40, and the 100, and the 50 moving average. So there's a lot of uh, resistance above. Um, we could rally, but I don't think that's going to happen on Monday. Maybe Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday session, that probably will happen. Uh, otherwise, we break down to the 150, and that opens the door to much, much, much lower levels. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we found resistance at the nearly the 150 moving average. We are like fairly overstretched at this point. There's no reason for us to basically be here. We have tried tested this price level before or near this price level. You can see it here and got rejected. So this could be a double top. It is possible. A break below the 100 moving average or, or the 50 moving average. That basically opens the door to uh, these uh, support level, this support level there at 1309. And if that breaks, then we'll go much, much, much lower to the, towards uh, this downward trend line. So the technical indicators are starting, they're still fairly bullish, but they're still showing signs of basically this market turning around. I did enter this market last week. Uh, I probably entered it too soon. I should have basically waited because this candlestick here is a dreadful. This is really, really negative in candlestick. So this is screaming uh, bearishness, and uh, that is most likely where we will go. Um, an indication on on Monday session early, uh, if we break below the 100, uh, 100 moving average, then we are most uh, certainly going much, much lower. So hopefully you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by clicking the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. If you'd like to see, um, test our um, signal service, you're welcome to head over to Patreon and you will receive a full package of, of our analysis as part of that service. So good luck and thank you very much.